Malaka, could you please abound to you and to your nation? And all giving reminds us that we are living under God's grace. And the ambassador of Japan. His Excellency Mr. Marasiro Omura, Ambassador Embassy of Japan, Permanent Secretary for Ministry of Local Government, Dimitri Fafa, Acting Chief Executive Officer of Nasinu Town Council, uh, members of the private sector, I can see them sitting there. Good to see you all here. And uh, members and representatives of the Japanese Embassy of Fiji, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Bulavinaka. It's a pleasure to be here today to witness the uh, handing over ceremony uh, in, in relation to the two compacted trucks that will be given by the Japanese uh, government today. Uh, we thank the Japanese government most humbly for their generosity in addressing solid waste management uh, and by providing this compacted truck. Definitely it will help us in, in the collection of this garbage within Nasinu district. We wish to also thank the Japanese government for their wider work supporting the resilience and better waste management through financial and technical assistance under the JICA program. JICA has been allocating volunteers to Nasinu Town Council, and JICA is also assisting municipal councils on assessing the solid waste management collection services and then drawing up a strategy as to how they can make it better. Uh, so it's very important that we come up with the appropriate strategy uh, in terms of the problems in garbage collection and the problems faced by the community. Uh, the government is highly appreciative of this support from our Japanese friends. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Fijian government recognizes the need to create a cleaner environment and waste-free public spaces. Our commitment means we focus on the correct collection and disposal of waste. Every community wants a clean environment, free of rubbish, and you have seen it time and again. This issue surfaces in the newspapers or on the television, where people point a finger and say, this is where the rubbish has been dumped and the municipal councils are not doing anything about it. But let's go back to the first question, who dumped it? Why was it dumped there? Right? It's the individuals who went and dumped the rubbish in every nook and corner they find. Recently, uh, I would like to share this particular incident. I was in one of the um, Nasinu community under my housing program. And it was very interesting to hear from the residents that they were complaining about uh, the residents not throwing the rubbish properly. So I asked them, I said, why is that? Uh, why isn't Nasinu Town Council providing that service? And that's when I learned that in Nasinu, Collection is on a daily basis. In other words, five days rubbish is collected. And I'm talking about this informal settlement where they do not even pay rates. And yet they're getting daily service. And I said to them, I live in Suva. I pay rates. And my garbage collection is only three times a week. How is it fair? So despite giving uh, this service on a daily basis, how come rubbish is thrown around the area? And the answer I got was that some people did not put the rubbish out on time. Now, definitely you don't expect Nasinu Town Council staff to get the garbage out of your home. This is the responsibility we expect from the public. And we all know that Nasinu Nosori Corridor is most, most densely populated. We have got over 120,000 residents living here. And so it, when it comes to garbage collection, it becomes very challenging. It's very challenging because we've got a lot of informal settlements around this area as well. So we understand that. And uh, we have, in fact, uh, when you move around in Nasinu area, I have done so many times making a call to the acting chief uh, executive officer as to why the rubbish is lying uh, in Nandawa, you know, on the streets, the rubbish is all thrown away, why? So I've been making all these calls, but I personally believe that it's not just one-way process, it's a two-way process. In other words, the ratepayers and the residents of Nasinu needs to become more responsible 
And similarly, the Nasinu Town Council got to provide that service in a more meaningful way, and they need to educate uh, the, the ratepayers uh, in Nasinu. Um, I would like to share a few uh, positive stories, and the first one is that the Fiji government distributed a total of 13,196 rubbish bins to Nasinu, Lambasa, and Savu Savu at a total cost of about $280,000. This was just done so that people don't complain, I don't have a rubbish bin. So here is the rubbish bin, put your rubbish in the bin. That was the whole idea. Government has taken a number of initiatives to support municipal council's solid waste management services, which include introduction of a solid waste management collection subsidy scheme from 1.5 million in 2018-2019 budget to 3 million in 2019-2020 budget. Never heard of this before. Previously, when it came to rubbish collection, ratepayers had to pay for it, and that's where the matter ended. But here, knowing very well that in Nasinu, there are a lot of informal settlements, and therefore the government is now paying or subsidizing the collection of rubbish. Also providing grants to municipal councils for purchase of open and compacted trucks. Uh, over the last five years, government has funded five open trucks and 12 nine-ton compacted trucks. The total investment has been uh, $2.9 million. Subsidizing the increase in the number of weekly household waste, which I have just mentioned, uh, on a daily, uh, from uh, once a week or twice a week collection to daily collection. And government has committed $120,000 per month to this scheme. The purpose has been to support the community in keeping the most densely populated town of Fiji clean and tidy. Then the government has also given a waiver of Namboro landfill gate fees for special green and white goods collection and during natural disasters. Government has further supported Nasinu Town Council by providing free use of Namboro landfill to improve household solid waste management activities. This fiscal year, the government has allocated $300,000 specifically to provide compost bins and to educate the community how to deal with your green waste. How can you turn your green waste into compost so that we don't let the green waste end up in our landfill? On one hand, you know, when there is an economic growth, obviously there's going to be increase in waste. But we need to reduce, minimize the waste because the last thing we want is adding more waste in the landfill because we need to increase the life of the landfill. It's very hard, extremely difficult to find land for landfill. Why would anyone give land just for uh, dumping waste, just for dumping rubbish? So we need to uh, look after our landfill. We need to make uh, our landfill long, uh, live longer, last longer, and for that we have to practice the three R's. Ladies and gentlemen, we all need improved aesthetics and so that our properties look neater, more appealing, and sanitary without unsightly trash. However, we need to remember that compacted trucks and proper rubbish bins cannot do this in isolation, no matter how many compactor trucks we provide. It is you, the ratepayers of Nasinu, who need to raise your standard of living by doing the right thing. When waste is disposed of properly, it prevents additional pollution, which can improve public health. Waste that is properly disposed has a lesser chance of getting into water supply and causing illnesses. The Fijian government continues to develop Nasinu town and has injected seven million towards the development of Langere municipal market, while preliminary works for the Nareri swimming pool and the Valley Levu stadium have commenced. In fact, after this meeting, we will be meeting uh, the executives who have come from Guangdong province in China to further discuss the design of uh, Valley Levu stadium, which we envisage uh, the work will commence next year around February, March. So before I end, I urge you all to realize the call to create a safer and cleaner space for you and your families. To all ratepayers of Nasinu, take the first step in maintaining a clean environment by disposing of rubbish in the proper manner. Solid waste collection is everyone's responsibility and needs everyone's support. 
My plea to our communities is to use the available services, including public bins, in the appropriate manner to support tidy towns and districts. If you notice gaps or have challenges with services, please contact your municipal councils. I take this opportunity once again to thank and salute the Japanese government for their assistance to Fiji and for Fijian people. Thank you very much. Three, two, one.